Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are looking at the new Long Cat video avatar. ...of my personality that are in the extreme, right? Yeah. Like, Torture Poets Department, my last album was really high... Right now, on the screen, you can already see some examples generated using Long Cat video avatar, so you get a rough idea of the kind of output this model can produce. These are just a few initial examples, but they already give you a good sense of the realism and motion quality. So, as you can see here, there are a few examples available on the Long Cat video avatar page itself. And honestly, just by looking at these examples, you can already tell that this model is doing something a bit different compared to a lot of other talking avatar models out there. This happened. So this is Long Cat Video Avatar. It's an open source AI model that focuses on creating realistic talking avatar videos. Instead of just generating random facial movements or stiff head motion, this model is designed to keep the character consistent while syncing facial expressions and lip movement properly with the audio. That means when the character talks, the lips actually follow the speech in a more believable way and the expressions match what's being said. Another big advantage here is identity, consistency. And this is a very important point. The face does not keep changing from frame to frame, which is a very common issue with many AI video models right now. With a lot of models, you'll notice that the face slowly morphs or the eyes, nose, or jawline start changing over time. Longcat handles this much better. It uses smarter attention mechanisms and stitching techniques to keep the character stable even when you're generating longer clips that run for many seconds or even minutes. Now, if you compare Long Cat Video Avatar with something like Infinite Talk, the biggest differences really come down to stability, realism, and flexibility. Infinite Talk is mainly focused on audio to talking head generation which works fine for simple use cases. But Longcat Video Avatar is built with a broader goal in mind. Longcat is not just about lip syncing audio to a face. It's designed to generate long, natural looking videos where the character stays consistent throughout the entire clip. It avoids weird quality drops, identity drift, and motion collapse, which usually start appearing when videos get longer. This becomes especially noticeable when you're generating content that's more than just a few seconds long. Another important thing is that Longcat can produce natural gestures and subtle movements even during silent parts of the audio. So when there's a pause in speech, the video doesn't just freeze or look dead. The character still moves slightly, just like a real person would. This is something many older talking head models really struggle with. So in simple terms, Longcat gives you more realistic motion, stronger identity, consistency, and much better long video stability. So as you can see here, this is the BF16 Longcat video avatar. After releasing this model, the creators have also provided an FP8 version along with the BF16 version. They've also shared an avatar list, and I'll include all of those links in the description so you can check them out yourself. Now, let's move to Comfy UI and let's take a look at how everything actually works in practice. So here's the pipeline. As you can see, we're using the Longcat Video BF16 version. You can also use the FP8 version if you want, depending on your GPU and VRAM. For this setup, we're using distilled along with block swaps and torch compiler settings. Okay, so here is the text encoder prompt beautiful young woman in a modern apartment hallway holding grocery bags. You can pause the video here and review the full prompt properly if you want to. Now here is the audio section. Let me know if you need any help with that. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to give you a hand. This is the audio file we're going to use for this example. You can download all the Wave 2x files from here. I've also included all the hugging face links so you can easily access everything. For output settings, we're using 16 output FPS, rendered at 32 frames per second. The resolution is set to 720p, and the total length is 93 frames. Here, we're using the WAN Video Scheduler version 2, set to 10 steps. On the right side, 
you can see the long cat audio avatar extended embedding. All right, now let me show you the generated video output. I'd be more than happy to give you a hand. Let me know if you need any help with that. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to give you a hand. As you can see, there are a few things written in the video, and some of them are not very clear in this version. So now I'm going to change the scheduler to long distilled oiler. Let's run this again using 10 steps and 8 CFG. You can already see that the quality is improving. Let me know if you need any help with that. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to give you a hand. The room let text, numbers, and background details are looking much better now. Now let's try UniPC, and I'll change the shift value to 12, because from my experience, a 12 shift usually makes the motion more dynamic and more natural. And yeah. More than happy to give you a hand. Let me know if you need any help with that. This already looks noticeably better. Now let's move on to image to video. Earlier, we were looking at text to video. For this example, we'll take this image right over here. This image was also produced using Z Image Turbo. For this example, I've written a very small prompt. The girl is talking. I haven't written anything long or very specific here. We're still using the same BF16 save tensor file, but for this example, I've changed the audio. Let me play the audio so you can hear it. Just thinking about our plans for tomorrow. And honestly, I can't wait to see you. I kept it at 640 times 960. Since this is meant to be a vertical video, we're still using Longcat Distilled Euler with 10 steps. Here's the output video. As you can see, this looks wait to see I was just thinking about our plans for tomorrow and honestly I can't wait to see I was just thinking about as you can see this looks much better if you compare this with infinite talk the motion here is clearly on another level when there's a pause in the audio the video doesn't just freeze or stay static the character continues moving naturally which makes the whole video feel much more realistic overall I think the motion and video quality are really good. The main area where it's still lacking a bit is the audio quality. Models like Melband Reformer are doing a decent job, but we still need better open source audio models to get even more realistic voice output. Here's another example using 12 shift with the normal Euler scheduler. I was just thinking about our plans for tomorrow. And honestly, I can't wait to see you. And again, the results look pretty solid. Now let's try one more example. We'll take the same code, keep the same prompt, switch to 12 steps, and increase the resolution to 1080 times 720 for a more HD video output. Here's the final result. All right. ...about our plans for tomorrow. And honestly, I can't wait to see you. I was just thinking about our... And honestly, I can't wait to see you.